2021 MT-07 from Yamaha is here and Visor Dan were lucky enough to review it at the World Press Riding Launch in the south of France in Marseille. All Covid safe, of course. Before we get into the video, please take a moment to subscribe to the Visor Down channel if you aren't already. It will mean you stay up to date with everything we do and all you have to do is click on the bell icon down below and we'd love it if you could like the video whilst you're there. Plus, also check us out on our social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Anyway, let's get on with the review. The MT-07 range from Yamaha has been one of the most popular bikes in the UK and globally really, with over 125,000 units sold since the Hyper Naked was launched in 2014, this being the top selling in that category every year since then. Absolutely mental. This latest iteration of the Dark Side of Japan range has seen a number of updates, extending much further than just new bodywork and a Y-shaped LED headlight that you can see, and we'll get to that. The 2021 MT-07 range includes better brakes, some tweaks to the engine, which makes it both Euro 5 compliant and much more responsive on the road. There's wider and adjusted handlebars, and there's LED lights all around, to name but a few. But first, we'll look at the engine. Now, when Visor Down rode this MT-07 in Marseille, we were first presented with the stats on paper, as always. And this is where the change in engine power was highlighted as a 1.5 brake horsepower loss to the Euro 5 gods. Yet the riding proved, in all honesty, not much different from the last generation. And if that sounds like a bad thing, it's absolutely not. Keen Yamaha fans will know this same motor is used in the Tracer 700. It's just tuned slightly differently for a more linear power delivery here and there's even a more gutsier exhaust note. Our road tester said, the two cylinder crossplane engine will undoubtedly go down in history as one of the best engines of this era. On paper, you have only 73.4 horsepower, but in reality, it seems to be at least 10 more. You always have more than enough torque, so you can easily take a hairpin turn in third gear and then effortlessly accelerate to 80 miles per hour with no drama. If you want flexibility in the city, you get it. If you want a sporty, responsive engine on a winding stretch of road, then you have it. The duality without using the engine modes or swapping maps, it just works sublimely. Now the engine spec itself is a 690cc crossplane technology CP2 engine. It's of course Euro 5 compliant. And it's got a 270 degree crank for a linear torque delivery. The max torque is 50 foot pounds produced at 6,500 RPM and the max power is 74 brake horsepower produced at 9,000 revs. The brakes are new, bigger and brilliant. 298mm dual front discs up top and 16mm up from the previous generation and there's a two channel ABS setup with the twin four pot calipers. The rear disc is 245mm. Now the road tester here said, you do notice that the brakes have more endurance. Purely in terms of braking power, the difference will not be that great. But it is when you're pushing hard for a long time, for example on a mile long mountain road, there is less fading and the brakes have more in reserve, which is always welcome on a press riding launch. Low seat perhaps on this one, it's 805 mil and our road tester is six foot two. So it proved a, li a little bit lower than they would have liked in this case, but still comfortable enough. And it really just depends on your own size and preference as with all motorcycles. The handlebars are 15 mil wider, placed higher and closer to the rider. And it gives you a nice assertive riding position, which is ideal for riders new to larger capacity bikes or just those looking for an easy ride. It's worth mentioning that this was a fairly frosty morning for the test ride and not exactly ideal conditions for testing a brand new bike. But this is where the Michelin Road 5 tyres came up trumps and really accentuated the capabilities of the MT-07. Only showing signs of the conditions when deliberately trying to spin your rear wheel or when the ABS would kick in under heavy braking. It was all very confidence inducing, perfect for a bike touted by many as the perfect jack of all trades big bike. Our road tester said here, the MT-07 is one of those machines you learn to ride on whilst training for your test. But it's also bought by John Bloggs who has just put his R1 on eBay as he has arthritis in his wrists. The MT-07 fills that niche category with a comfortable ride, but with plenty of poke and power where you want it. 
The frame is a compact tubular creation and weighs in 184 kilograms wet with 14 liters tank. Still, in true MT-07 style, it's perfectly maneuverable. You may be disappointed to hear there is no TFT dash, just an upside down LCD dash, which is still cool, but there's an updated switch gear as well to sweeten the deal if you were disappointed to be missing out on a TFT dash here. Our visor down road tester adds, but it doesn't even have an upside down fork. I can already hear the experts shout. That's right, but first try to find out whether the lack of such a USD or upside down fork is due to the equipment being needed or just wanted. Styling. So this does then bring us down to the most subjective part of any bike review, the styling. Now I could sit here and wax lyrical about how much I love the look of the MT-07, but that's just like my opinion, man. You have to really go with what your gut instinct is when it comes to the look of a bike. But just take the word of the road tester. Here, Mr. Visor Down Stig Road Tester Man says, in press photos, which are usually shot quite low to the ground, the design comes across as rather extreme. In reality, it's not too bad. The signature Y-shaped LED headlight is nicely incorporated and matches the look of the new, more stripped back and modern MT-07. Color options. We also see a fresh color scheme. You can choose from black, blue or grey with fluorescent wheels. It used to be matte silver, now it's a shiny layer of non-metallic dark grey. Looks good. The LED lights are, of course, new all round with LED indicators and that front signature Y-shaped LED light that is the real talking point when it comes to the style on the MT-07. Of course, it's very subjective and it does look quite transformer-ish or bug-eyed or however you want to put it. But to me, it looks quite nice and it does suit the style that the MT-07 range is going for here. Now, what were the last thoughts from our road tester? So, do you have an older model of MT-07 and are you satisfied with it? Fine, keep it. Is the futuristic design more your thing? Then you know what to do. The price for an MT-07 starts at £6,899 in any of the three available colours, which are, again, Storm Fluo, Icon Blue and Tech Black. And since we're living in the age of finance options and PCP, with a touch over a two grand deposit, you could pay £75 a month for one of these for three years of fun. In my opinion, that's a pretty bang on deal. So, thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about this MT-07 down below in the comments. If you're this deep into the video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for watching. Bye.